Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. I'm changing stations like Cleo from Set It Off while I sit in the lat. Mm -hmm. Like, can't listen to that, that, nor that. Right. This for a set. Because uh -huh. I'm really finna pop jazz, mm. leave the country, mm. then it's a rap. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP. Shout out to Fox 5 and the whole gang. Everybody over there too. Um, Riot came bearing gifts to cards. Shout out to the Riot Network, Gigi Gotti, everybody that was involved. We're putting this card together. Uh, it was on September 3rd, the day after Max Out. Uh, and it was at King of Diamonds. King of Diamonds in Atlanta. Shout out to Atlanta, city of Atlanta. That's a lot of love in Atlanta. Shit, Atlanta's fun. If you haven't been to Atlanta, go to Atlanta. Um, <laughs> but... You know, I, I'm gonna be honest. A lot of this card I missed because I was obviously there with the um, max out joint, and uh, I was on my way back and things like that. And I know people are like, oh, why you ain't stay? Why you ain't? Man, listen, where I get booked, where I be, they buy the ticket, I fly back. I got, I, I got obligations. I'm sorry, and then, my time ain't free. But nah, um, you know, they had a good event. They had a good situation put together uh, with some good battles on the card. Uh, I did see. Um, Geechee Gotti versus Coffee Brown. I saw Jack. Real killers don't sleep. I'm gon' eat. Potato on a strap. So I left no noise. Thumbs up. Gun butt him. He got punctured by the foe lumped up. But if it's blood, get on my white clothes. I'm fucked. Oh, no, nah, I'm good. I said potato, ciabatta, white. Everybody knows you use bread to soak rum mm. up. Oh. His daughter there. His daughter there. Should I put a seed on a... Nitty. I saw some of Chilla Jones versus Vixen. And then there's some other joints on there that I'm gonna have to peep. But... Who would I be to not be here to be clear? Like I said, salute to the riot, salute to the family affair. They put this joint together. They had some very dope MCs on the card. Uh, and Geechee Gotti versus Coffee Brown. Um, and like I said, I was very excited to see some of this car. I talked about it on the news. Um, and that's what I try to do with a lot of these leagues and things like that. Even if they reach out to me and want us to be involved or don't want us to be involved, I really don't be caring because it's about battle rap and about pushing the culture forward, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to everything that was involved. And, you know, the car, when you look at it, it has some pretty dope names on there. Chef Trez is always dope. To see, uh, I love Ella Ademaya, Ella Ademaya from Compton and Top Floor Lou, who's making his way through. Uh, Deanna Hennyman was on there. Uh, Next and Clone, I love what Clone is able to do. Clone gets busy. He had a fire battle with Av early in the end. Bad News versus Wise. To see Wise name shoot up on cards so fast is crazy because I remember when Wise was just battling on the gates. But in uh, Geechee Gotti versus Coffee Brown, uh, this battle on a scale of one to ten. Generously, maybe a six or seven, six point five, seven. I'm generous today. I give it a six point five. Um, I just felt like for all of the backstory that they had amongst each other, and then for this to be a main event, I'm thinking main event. Like I need my popcorn. Like I I'll say the the venue where they threw it at, the noise, bro. It's just like too much going on. Like I I don't know if from being in this game so long and watching so many battles and understanding the aesthetic of how battle rap works, the the, 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 the the surrounding sound, like that's all I'm hearing. Niggas is rapping bars and I'm thinking about what I'm hearing in the background. I don't even want to have that feeling subconsciously when watching battle rap, you know what I'm saying? So that's, I'm dealing with the elements. I should, you shouldn't, like, I don't know what the plan was. Maybe the nigga said, yo, y'all can have that spot right there, but we finna still have strippers and shit over here, or we in the kitchen. It sounded like niggas in the kitchen cooking. I'll be honest with you. But from what I did here, uh, I had, Geechee came out in his first round. He was explosive. Like, he definitely had some moments in the first round. I ain't gonna hold you. He, he, he was cooking. And, you know, some of his angles was pretty tight, you know, the family angles and things like that. And talking about, you know, uh, with her being crib and giving her the, fat, the flag and all these other shits. It, and, it, you know, he had the blood all it, 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 Yo, he had some shit for her in all of the rounds. But in the second, in the, so I had Geechee went in the first. I gave coffee the second. I felt like her flow started to step up and she was attacking him more. His battle was very personal, first of all. It was very personal. No. Huh. Whoa, so the shit that they was talking about in that battle, I said, oh, it was more, don't take it personal, 
baby, 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 baby. They were taking that motherfucker personal. Uh, she, Coffee didn't didn't spare no expense. She was wilding on him. She was talking about him. His gang ties, saying that he fucking jazz. Nigga, he fucking jazz. Woo, we. Shout out to him. I don't know if that's true, but I'm just saying that's what she said. She put a, you know, your girl left you because you were fucking jazz. I heard that. Uh, uh, I heard that. But then, <laughs> shout out to Coffee, yo. Uh, I had coffee one in the second, and the third is really could go either way, but I kind of would edge it to coffee per se because when it's your card, your league, your event, you book all the people on it, and it's your situation, it's kind of a situation conducive to you, for you to win. You should win that. Like, you shouldn't, it shouldn't even be even close to being thought about being clear. So I kind of edged the battle to coffee because I'm feeling like a third round. Now, coffee, you said a. <laughs> You said Desert Eagle on a tribe. <laughs> you fucking with me, Coffee. You really fucking with me. You said Desert Eagle on a tripod or some shit like that. And when I thought about it, I said, how the fuck you put a Desert Eagle on a tripod? What type of shit is this? You fucked me up with that one. I almost took the battle from you for saying that wacky shit. But I do have uh, Coffee winning the battle 2-1. It was very personal. In Geechee's third round, he started angling her, talking about her uh, her deceased boyfriend or whatever the case may be, saying that, you know, women is the reason why this shit be happening to niggas. But trust me, he had some shit. Like, the, the liners that he had, the one-liners, he said, leave coffee, uh, app, leave coffee on the app I fold your shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, he definitely had coffee, drug halls, fold your shit or something like that. He was going in on her. And then uh, he was talking about... <laughs> He was talking about her looking like Briz. <laughs> <laughs> about her looking like Briz Rothstein and shit like that. Uh, it was pretty personal though, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really see them embrace so much after the battle or whatever the case may be. But I had her and I was just thinking like, I said this earlier in the week and I'll say it again now. I kind of feel like Geechee Gotti was saving groceries for his next battle because he's got Easy the Block Captain and a pretty important battle. I do what I want on Chrome and that could kind of shape how the year is gonna go, so I'm thinking, feeling that he was saving material. You know what I'm saying? I, I hope he was because if that, because then I, like I said, I've seen Geechee do better against newer niggas. Like he battled Feeble on um on I Battle and he went crazy in that joint. So I know he battled News in the street and went crazy in that one. So it's like you battling relatively unknown people and you wilding on them and you in a big battle that's a main event versus someone that y'all had some history with. We're expecting uh. A little bit more but overall you know decent battle i'm not tripping i did watch it and i would i'd probably spin through it again um jazz versus from nitty now listen jazz versus from nitty oh, okay now that's now that's one now <clears throat> you know i'm still in max out mode uh we, we're doing a lot of editing a lot of things going on so i sp's working we ain't got I ain't right now every single every fucking bar i'll be writing until next week if i'm writing down rum nitty's bars um, but I will tell you how I felt like the battle went. I know a lot of people just quickly throw the battle to Rum Nitty because Rum Nitty's type of motherfucker. He just show up and punch his life, punch your life away, and huh, that's pretty much how it's gonna go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he could I, I, I pop Jazz and leave the country. Then it's a wrap. Like it's just go. Oh! But Jazz first round, she was out the gate smoking, and her shit was hitting, and she had balls. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jazz did not show up to play. But Rum Nitty's doing this shit on six days, seven days. He could take people in fucking four days. You know what I'm saying? Like, he literally said he was writing for Jazz all weekend, just showed up and did it. This nigga, Rum Nitty, is like, uh, he's really an alien for real. Like, he's just showing up, barring people's lives away and going on to the next battle. I feel like Rum Nitty got the second. Uh, and I feel like the second round is, the third round is pretty close and people may be giving it. So I edge the third round of Rum Nitty, but I could go 2-1 Jazz in this battle. I have a hundred, I have many reasons why. And if, when I get with SP, we'll do a breakdown of every single ball and we can do that. But from what I saw and heard, Jazz mission was accomplished. Show up, show us you can rap with Rum Nitty and don't die. <laughs> it's pretty much, <laughs> that's at the end of the day, as long as you don't die, we can let it fly. I see you on the next card with no problem, you know what I'm saying? Um, again, I will be in the building with my man Jay Tuck at 6 p.m. 
Uh, hopefully I'll get this blog and the next one out before then so people can have the time to make sure that they're watching because don't let the Cowboys fans just come jump me. Like, that's what y'all going to do. Y'all going to let the Cowboys fans just come jump me. Ride for the homie, man. Come, come, come through. But anyway, shout out to all the leagues and everything they got going on. It's Vita Fly. You already know what the fuck going on. Gang.